to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official exclusive trailer, for sure, whatever you want to call it, for Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms. Now, of course, if you guys remember, they did a Scorpion one. This is a follow-up. It's, it's yeah, this is a follow-up, and it's, it, it's, it's very closely connected. I did watch the film. He hasn't, but I watched the, 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 the original film itself, um, and... What, go ahead. Yes, no. Oh, I was going to go into the synopsis. But, go right ahead. Okay, yeah. Blast synopsis picks up apparently where the last film took off, where good guys are kind of successful, but then Shao Kahn, everything changed when Shao Kahn attacked, and now they're in a, now are from in a battle for in the, what's called, being called the final Mortal Kombat tournament. Yes. Um... That's uh, that's what we're diving into because we're pretty much in, in a way uh, it's like what people have stated. This if they would have done the live action one, this is a they should have gone with this story only because it's like it was a great way of kind of like introducing the characters, bringing them in, stuff like that. Um, but I enjoyed the first film. The film, first one was fantastic. Um, I mean, you had a freaking Joe McHale voice in Johnny Cage. It took me a while to get adjusted to that, but even Johnny, you know, some of the stuff that they had in this film was fantastic. It was just awesome. I mean, even in this film, we got to see how Jax loses his arms and stuff like that, and how we got replacement and stuff like that, how we got some new stuff. So it was really cool to see to even see that. Um, some of the fighting was just fantastic, and even like even when we're following a, a Scorpion, I think it was a great way of just following his story in a way. But every now and then, we still split away to the other characters of how they're all kind of meeting up in a way, getting to that point. But we still go back and forth with Scorpion and what he, you know, why he's doing, he's doing things like that. Um, the bloodiness, the gruesomeness, all that was still in this, um, you know, and a lot of characters that, that they brought in from the actual series, and we're gonna get supposedly a lot more newer characters as well. In in this uh, sequel as well and it's definitely a must watch for Mortal Kombat Legends the first one for Scorpion's Revenge if you haven't seen it definitely go check it out it is an awesome badass film um, but let's just dive into this um, do you have anything else to say or no? Dude, I remember. I didn't even see the new live action film that yet, so. I got going. Go on. let's just dive into this for the official trailer for Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms so here we go Too in the first one, there was a big twist with the with, with, in the first one with, with Scorpion and uh, 
Sub Zero, there was a big twist to it. I can um, probably vaguely think about what it is, but anyways, um, so there's a lot more fighting compared to the first. The first one, the first one, it did have fighting. Don't get me wrong, it did have some good fighting in it. You know, they separated them in different areas, you know, and stuff like that. This one is a lot more fighting. Raiden does a lot more fighting because in the first one, he more uh, again he does what you know he does, which is you know I cannot interfere. I cannot you know. You know, you know, interfere or get in the middle of things, stuff like that. He just, you know, he just stops certain things. Da, da, da. Here, they're showing that uh, Raiden is getting more, much more involved now in the, in the tournament, where it looks like now he's being a part of it, uh, whether he likes it or not at this point. Um, I think it looks pretty dope. No, I, I enjoyed good. the trailer of the first film. I think this one just extends upon what was great about the first film for the looks of things. Oh, yeah. Uh, expanded roster. It looks like Striker. They're adding, I know Striker. There's a list of them. I think they already have them all lined of who's going to be in this film already. Striker is, I did read that Striker is one of them. Uh, but there is like a whole list of like other characters they are pulling from, uh, you know, from the world of Mortal Kombat, you know, into this. Yeah, and considering how not timeline the more combat timeline is right now they can really get away with anything by doing movies like this um and that's why i said that's why a lot of people have stated going you know when, it, when he did the first uh, mortal Kombat animated film here for for this film uh you know the, the scorpion's revenge a lot of people were like why couldn't they describe the story and turn it into like more of a live action because it would have done well because it's like you don't have to follow a brand new character and we still follow you know that one character we're following but still be able to follow the other characters as they're coming together at the same time yeah so it's like it, it, it's like perfect example of like you don't need to do introduce a whole new character to kind of kind of bring us together with these all these uh, all these other characters i mean it's 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 a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole controversy on that, that part but this film overall itself looks like they're you know up in their game where it's like they have to push up more of the fighting of what's going on what's happening you know with everything you know that's in the final tournament and stuff like that and like you said, I, this is a. I definitely can't wait for watching the second one because the first one was fantastic. I'm pretty sure you know this one's just gonna be still badass. Especially you got again. It's like I mean I'm not putting down all the other voice actors, but it's just hearing Joe McHale voice. You know Johnny Cage. It's just fun sometimes. Yeah, he's having a blast playing this role. And then it was already confirmed that the next DC animated is going to in fact be an adaptation of Injustice. Yes. So that should be fun to see, considering how much fucking lore there is on the first game alone. Like the comics, the prequel comics, and it's the like how comics. deep and dark are they gonna get with this? That's the question. Yeah, but overall, this looks good. If you enjoyed the first one, I think this is gonna be right up your alley as well. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about animated video game adaptation kind of stuff hit the subscribe button down below hit that bell icon as well let us know what your guys' thoughts are on this this uh trailer for the sequel overall did you enjoy the first mortal kombat legends film uh did you, did you have fun with it what's your favorite part about it what, you know what really stood out for you that really told you that they should have turned this in live action or just you just loved it how they put it together and what are your guys thoughts on this one does it look like they're still up in the ante of adding more characters adding more fighting more you know more of the blood this more of the fighting and things like that you know what makes you so excited for this one compared to the other one i mean let us know in the comments down below put down what you thought of our reaction overall but most importantly thank you for watching so until next time though i'm chris and i'm christopher and this of course been a very moral combat filled episode of srb we'll see it later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.